I hope you found some more information on this ghost business, Andronicus. Look, I've been doing some digging around, and by all accounts, this stuff is more messed up than Tatooine. Pirates run this place, though the Empire and the Republic have dared to move in of late. Still, ships don't land here. The cold is part of it, but there are other rumors. The kind you'd ignore if you had sense. Fortunately, I'm not interested in sense. Only ghosts. What do these rumors say? There was a light freighter out of Yavin 4, Star Runner. Disappeared over this place. Reported some strange happenings before it did. It was a smuggler vessel, loaded full of ancient junk from Yavin's tombs. If I wanted to catch a ghost, I'd start asking after that ship. Hope you've got your blasters ready. Just finishing the cold weather fittings, and I'll be ready. Hollow Chatter says the Empire's operating on this ice block. So you might try using your new Lord of the Sith authority. Careful, though. Place is crawling with pirates. And they aren't all as nice as me. I'm looking for a ship, called the Star Runner. My lord, truly an honor, and a surprise. I'm afraid no ships have landed on Hoth in ages, unless it's a crash. Actually, the name Star Runner sounds familiar. If I may ask, what do you need the ship for? You're here on Darth Thanason's behalf, naturally. I am my own master now, but you can be forgiven for thinking otherwise. Right, of course. I meant no offense, my lord. Star Runner. Blast. Your ship crashed years ago. It's buried under a few tons of snow by now. Your best bet? No. Give me a few months to get a recovery team on it. As long as I get the ship, I'm happy. So what? You'll just wait until Thanaton shows up to finish the job? I hesitate to suggest it, but we do have a fully equipped reclamation service team in the field already. It's just, the lieutenant in charge is a little odd. Too much time digging in tombs, you understand. One moment you're seeking artifacts of unspeakable power, and the next you're flying halfway across the galaxy hunting ghosts. Well then, maybe you and Lieutenant Talos Drellic will get along after all. I'm afraid I can't call Lieutenant Drellic. The weather on Hoth is bad for communications. The team's way out in the way searching for some mythical Sith temple on Hoth of all places. Good luck, my lord. We're close, boys. We'll find that temple. I can feel it. Rogers, no cutting corners. Don't forget the salt. Salt's not the best solution, but it's the only thing that doesn't freeze out here, and solid footing is a must. I'm looking for Lieutenant Talos Drellic of the Imperial Reclamation Service. My lord, I am honored. I heard you single-handedly unearthed artifacts of the great Tulak Horde. I'm a Naga Sadar man myself, but I'd love to compare notes. What brings you to Hoth, and how may I be of service? I'm hunting a ghost, actually. On a crashed ship. Hmm. A ship. Not usually our line, but let's hear it. Maybe we can help. Hmm. A bit new for the reclamation service, but artifacts. And a ghost. I've heard that the dead talk down in the tombs, but to see one, oh, I wonder if it'd be possible to make a hollow image. I imagine it would depend on the light. Yes, darker would be better. Engineer Sorrel, do we have any probes that aren't frozen solid? Shalora works as good as any in these conditions, sir. She may not look like much, but she's got heart. If my guess is correct, the captain would have launched a distress beacon before the crash, which would give us a line on the ship. Not a bad idea. Beware, my lord. The cold's master out here. My boys and I are going to shift camp. Try to get a better communication setup going. But let us know if you find anything. This is Captain Quellen of the Star Runner. SOS. I repeat, SOS. We're caught in Hoth's gravitational pull and falling fast. Strange events date back two weeks. Yavin 4 artifacts, believed to be the source. Something has taken control of the ship. To whomever finds this message, burn this vessel. Don't look inside. Don't touch it. Burn it. Lieutenant Drellic really is something else. Could find a wampa here in a snowdrift, I bet. It still doesn't tell me where the ship is. No, but we have a bearing from the beacon launch. And those tracks... 
Somebody beat us to this thing. Lieutenant, sir, we found the beacon, but no ship. There's some light tracks, though. They appear to be a few days old. Have Shamora zoom in, sir. I've been studying alien tracks since I was old enough to know a Twi'lek from a Takata. Um, Ortolan. I'd know them if they were six days old and covered in jam. Those are Ortolan tracks. What's an Ortolan? A cold weather type of alien who've made their homes on Hoff. Usually peaceful, until recently. It looks like those Ortolans dug something up. Possibly a clue to the ship's location. Sorrel, where's the nearest Ortolan camp? It's a ways beyond the next outpost. But the tracks look headed in the right direction. Well, it might be time to put on your best diplomatic face, my lord. Ortolans don't like outsiders much, but it looks like they're the key to finding our ghost. I will be utterly charming. I'll have Sorrel bring the beacon to the base. Between it and the Ortolans, we're bound to have a breakthrough. We'll be there when you're through dealing with the Ortolans. I'm looking for the remains of a ship called the Star Runner, which you took from the Distress Beacon site. It is truly an honor to meet one such as yourself. Looks like we've found our ghost. So, you want me to pop this blue thing in the skull so you can bind this guy? I will release you when I've defeated my enemy. What exactly does this entail? And how exactly do I enact revenge on ancient dead assassins? <laughs> I met the ghost, and he needs me to get inside an ancient temple. Then it's true! My peers in the service laughed when I said it was on Hoth, but now, yes! It's the only thing that makes sense. Your ghost said he was a follower of Ludo Kresh, and that Naga Sadao's assassins killed him. Sith, do you realize what you've done? You're cute when you're excited. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> well, how kind of you to say. We're talking about the fabled Sadoin, Naga Sadao's personal order of assassins, myth made real. Don't worry, I'll get you inside. I've been circumventing the security of ancient tombs since I was old enough to hold a data spike in a pair of pliers. Glad to hear it. Let me just gather up my equipment here. All right, let's go. like a simple pulley job. I, I just need to... Give me a moment. Oh, I am too excited! Every time I open a new tomb, like watching a flower blossom, so many wonders! Unbelievable! 
unbelievable. These look like the catacombs. The rest of the temple must have been destroyed by the elements. The great and secret order of Naga Sadao's assassins, the Sadoween. This is where they came to die when their bloody work was done. So much history. It almost seems wrong to destroy it. Please. I know the ghost wants this all destroyed, but let me at least take some hollow recordings. To obliterate all this history, why? We'd be orphaning ourselves. Her culture needs the hand of the past to guide it. Take your record and make it extra thorough. Thank you. It shouldn't take too long. There. That's the last piece. Just... Just tell me when it's over. That's the last of them. My lord, that droid, didn't we already defeat it? Excellent. Thank you, Sith, for your help. Fascinating. How is this possible? It doesn't appear to be technological. To see those pawns of Nagasadao crushed, their graves defiled. Normally, I consider myself above revenge, but this pleases me. I hope you're planning to keep your end of the deal. Yes, I could use the change of scenery. The ghost! Never in a million years! The Star Runner may be found in the belly of the mighty Super Dreadnought Star of Coruscant, in the graveyard of ships. I landed it there for safekeeping after I crushed its foolish captain. There, you will find me. I know the place, but it's swarming with pirates. White Moor, I think they're called. Not exactly connoisseurs of the historical. I'll use caution. Oh, I'm sure those pirates will crumble before you like the bones of dead Sith. I wait expectantly for your arrival. Unbelievable! One minute it's walking around good as new, and the next... Oh, there's better equipment for analysis at the base near here. It's on the way to the ship graveyard, if you'll follow me. Here we are. Now, I have to analyze this droid. But your friend said they'd be here if you needed them. I believe the ghost said he was in the Dreadnought. Best go there if you wish to find him. My savior and avenger, my heart is light. Almost as if I were alive again. You don't fail to impress. To accomplish so much with only a forceless scoundrel at your side. You're lucky you're already dead. I am sorry, but I have always been vain, and surrender is not a pill I swallow easily. I promise to free you when I have defeated my enemy, Darth Thanaton. More generous than I'd expected, but I would be a fool to ask for less. Seal the promise with your blood, and I will submit willingly to your control. I promise to release you once Thanaton is defeated. Excellent. Let the ritual begin. My lord, I hope to catch you before you left. I, um... I have resigned from the service. The military just isn't the best use of my talents. I feel I could serve the Empire better by, uh... by helping you. If you'll let me. I can always use another lover of the strange. It would be an honor. I promise I won't let you... Wait, you will? Great! Great! 
thank you. You won't regret it. I have military training, rifles, small arms, grenades, and I am the best in the galaxy at finding rare artifacts, if I may say so. Let's hope you have a strong stomach. Hmm. I promise I won't let you down. Ah, yes. I can sense the new power within you. Good. And I would suggest... Tangasa Chais embarks prize war pairing Swase Ikbus Karadita. For once I agree with a monster. Break into Thanaton's meditation chamber and blast him with all those dead Sith you've piled up. Then set a course for Drummond Kass. You got it, Captain. But if you face him with his defenses up like last time, you're toast. Don't forget it. If there's any way I can aid you, my lord, let me know. My lightsaber is ready, should you have need. Oh, now we sons. That was quick thinking, buying off Lord Cineratus. You'll be pleased to know the Hedonist has already gambled it all away. Man served me well for 13 years until you bought him. Playing on a fellow Sith's pleasures, clever move. This doesn't need to end in violence. I suppose you could flee, leave the Sith Order behind, find a lover, settle down, start a farm in some backwater planet. But you would always be the one who fled. And I would always be the one who let you get away. It would eat at us, always wondering who would have won. Roland? Yes, Master. The apprentice of a disobedient Sith must die. Let us do our solemn duty. This time, I will be sure to dispose of your corpse personally. I didn't want it to end like this. You must stop this nonsense now. Don't let him talk to you like that. He's a treacherous snake. Cut out his fangs. Careful now. Don't lose control. I warned you my ritual was dangerous. I warned you it was not for the weak, but you drank the poison. What have you done, you fool? You can't handle that kind of power. What just happened? Where's Thanaton? You're dying, little snake. Don't struggle. It'll only prolong the agony. One thing I forgot to mention about the Force Binding. You should never, ever bind more than one ghost at a time. Or else, well, you'll see. I'm still not sure I understand. I was fighting Thanaton. Too much exertion wears you out. Lowers your defenses. We had no choice but to serve you before, but now we can finally have some fun. Visa. Sith, back in the land of the living. Easy now. You overextended yourself. The ghost's power was too much for your body to adapt to so quickly. And that's not to mention the little chats you've been having in your sleep. Let me guess the ghosts. They won't be quiet. How did you know? I know a thing or two about voices invading one's thoughts. Whatever the cause, you look dire. And Thanaton will take advantage unless we find a cure quickly. Give me some time to do some research. Ashara, I'll need your help. Holocrons are impossible these days. It makes no sense. Darth Vilas produced over 3,000 volumes, writings and holocrons. Makes a one-line notation. I'm hearing voices, must find cure. Then nothing in 3,000 volumes, not a single other mention of the subject. Do you think Thanaton could have tampered with your resources? These are common diaries, not Sith secrets. There's no reason anyone would... No. No, you're right. 
Why didn't I see this before? Volume 2397, line 232. Killed my fourth apprentice today. Caught him spying. Same line. Volume 2455. Killed by a fourth apprentice today. Caught him spying. The entire volume is a duplicate. How did that fool know what volume to hide? Thanaton must have grasped what was going on when he confronted you and ordered the volumes switched. Let's hope he didn't destroy them. He keeps a private, heavily guarded library under Drummond Cast. I'm not supposed to know about it, but for various reasons, I do. I'm guessing Darth Vilas's missing volume and another by Darth Erratus are there. Both could be imperative to your survival. Stop right there. Sorry, my lord, but you're not allowed in here. You will let me in. I'm welcome here. We will let you in. You're welcome here. Thanaton keeps his most useful holocrons on the far wall. I'm sure he wouldn't mind if you took one. I performed was too much power too quickly. I am disintegrating rapidly. I have begun to drain parts of my power into holocrons, though it is only a temporary solution. My research points to a cure, almost too amazing to fathom, but I must try and I must succeed. It will require going into the heart of Belsavis, a place so racked with chaos I shudder to think of going. Still, no time for hesitation. I go now, or not at all. I found some things that look relevant. Excellent. It will take some time for Ashara and I to study these. In the meantime, you may want to check in on Harkon. Make certain he knows you're alive, and that he shouldn't take any liberties with the trials. I know better than to trust my apprentice with you. Don't worry. Your little Jedi girl is smart. She keeps me at better than arm's length. Time for death, Twi'lek. Kava tupa stumpa, Makinsa! Quiet, both of you. You know your trial. Now go. My lord, you just missed the latest trial. As you can see, we have a wild group. All except the human. He was surprisingly quick to die. Through no interference of yours, I trust? These wretches can get themselves killed without my help. My credits are on the three-eyed one, personally. Uglier than my twisted Sith grandmother, but he has the same determined glint you had. I'll take that bet. My credits are on the Kalish. I didn't know you were the gambling type, my lord. While you're here, is there anything particular you want to accomplish with these trials? Many Sith Lords use the Acolytes to gather things from the tombs for them. Anything that will help me in my struggle with Thanaton would be appreciated. I think I know something. I'll contact you when they are on their last trial so that you can arrive in time for the results. <laughs> 